Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss another very important question. Difference between CI and SI for two years, three years. It is very important question and it is given in many books with a formula. But formulas are very difficult to remember in competitive exams. So I want to tell you a logical method. So you will remember it for lifetime. The question is the difference between CI compound interest and SI simple interest on a certain sum of money for three years at 10% per annum is rupees 15.50 the sum is what so the question want to ask what is the principle sum means principle so we can do this question by many methods by considering principle as x or anything but the logical trick is that here rate is 10% this is very important rate is 10% 10% rate means the fraction is 1 by 10 so what we will do we will see the denominator the denominator is 10 and time is 3 years so what will, uh, will we do we will do 10 q 1000 we will take principal as 1000 rupees this is the trade suppose the rate was 25 percent 25 percent fraction is 1 by 4 so the denominator is 4 so we will consider principal as 4 q 64 any fraction suppose the rate was 5 percent suppose the rate was 5 percent the fraction will be 1 by 20 then we can consider principal as 20 q it means 8000 but the rate is 10 percent fraction is 1 by 10 so we will consider principal as 10 q thousand to make our calculations easy now we know that simple interest is equal every year so thousand 10 percent of thousand is 100 rupees for first year it is 100 rupees for second year it is 100 rupees for third year it is 100 rupees this is the concept of simple interest that simple interest is equal every year but what is compound interest what about compound interest for first year the compound interest is calculated on principal 10 percent of thousand is 100 rupees now this is the logic of compound interest that compound interest increases at the same rate that is given in the question the rate is 10 percent so for the next year the compound interest will be 110 and for the next year the compound interest will be 10 percent of 110 is 11 110 plus 11 121 now what about various differences for the first year difference is 0 for the second year difference is 10 for the third year difference is 21 total difference is 31 but in actuality the difference is rupees 15.5 it means actual difference is half of what we get so our multiplier is 1 by 2 so our principal will be 1 by 2 of 1000 we considered principal as 1000 but in actuality our principal will be rupees 500 we can do this question by another formula but that is a rectification method given in many books that method is difference between CI and SI for 3 years is given by P into R by 100 Q plus 3 into R by 100 square and this is formula for 3 years and formula for 2 years is 2 year difference between CI and SI is P into R by 100 square but in competitive exams the formulas are very difficult to remember. The three year difference is very difficult to remember. So you can do by logic. I hope this video clarifies your many doubts. Thank you very much.